today we are going to study about the probability part three. In probability two, we have already done about the two point two dice cases and about the cards. Now in part three, we are doing a miscellaneous type of the question, which are very important. So you see, the first question is what the ticket number. From one to twenty are Mister and one ticket is rent drawn at rent. What is the probability that ticket has a number which is a multiple of three or five? Which is a multiple of three or five? So this is a question. So you know well what is the basic formula of the probability. So probability of any event. Probability of any event is what favorable outcome. Favorable outcome. Favorable outcome and divided by total outcome. Right. So question is what the ticket number from what is the favorable? Favorable means what we need and total outcome is what is the total possibility. So first you see the ticket number from one to twenty are mixed up and one ticket is drawn at random. What is the probability that ticket has a number which is a multiple of three or five? That means the number we have to find our favorite number is what from one to twenty. How many numbers which are divisible by three and how many numbers which are divisible by five? So how can we find C here? So first you find number from one to twenty which are divisible by three. So technique is what that is twenty upon three. Okay, and again we have to find from five how many number are divisible by five. So again this is twenty divided five. Now you know there is a three or five. So we have to this is the divisible by three. This is divisible by five. Lots of numbers which are common to divisible. So we have to check how many numbers are common. So three fives are fifty. So how many numbers are divisible by fifty? So those number which will be divisible by fifty, that number will be divisible by three or five four. So and here what total outcome? So total outcome is what? That is the twenty. So what is the technique? That is three six or eighty. So there is a six point something, but when we go for number, we take only number. So this is three six by three. You take only six. Again here five four the twenty. So this is four and minus this is fifteen one job fifteen. So this is minus divided by twenty. So six plus four ten ten minus one nine. So our correct answer is what nine by twenty. So here a option is what nine by twenty. So again, you feel the question is what? If we there is a ticket number from one to twenty, and one ticket is drawn at a red, then what is the probability that one ticket is a multiple of three or five? So we have to find number from one to twenty. That number which is divisible by three or divisible by five. So there is a technique. First, you find number divisible by three. So this is twenty by three. So there is a six six point something. So just neglect about the digit after the point. So you take only six. Again here one to twenty number divisible by five. Five four the twenty. So this is four minus number divisible by three five the fifteen. That means those number which are divisible by three and five both. That will be divisible by fifteen. So there is only one number. So and total outcome is what? That is twenty. So this is ten minus one nine by twenty is our correct answer. So first option is right answer. Now you see the question number two. Question two is what? A box contains two red, three two red, three green, and two blue balls. So two balls are drawn one by one. Two balls are drawn one by one. So what is the probability that none of the ball drawn is blue? So we have been given one box and one box has two red, three green, and two blue. So total ball is what? Three plus two five. So total ball is given seven. Okay, and two balls are drawn one by one. 
So what is the prohibited none of the ball drawn sphere? So just to negate this view, so we have to find the ball will be red or green. So total ball is what? 5. So when you will find one ball, that is 1 by 1. So it's the first time you say that is probability of event equal to what? First you take 1. So 1 ball is what? That is a non view, none of the view. So after blue we have the 3 to 5. So probability is what? 5 upon. Total ball is what? 3 plus to 5 to 7. So this is 5 by 7. But we have to find two balls. So one two ball we have already drawn. Now second ball. So second ball is also what? That is the non-view. So there is a non-view five ball. We have already taken one. So now we have only four. So there is a four. Now total ball is also seven. But we have already one ball we have taken. So now we have only six ball. So this is four by Six. So this is two two ja four two three ja six. So what is this? Ten upon twenty one. So this is the right answer. Ten upon twenty one. So for this type of question, there is a one by one. So first you take one, and after that second. So here two red, three green, two more total outcome we have two plus three plus two. That is seven. Okay, now we have to find probability that none of the ball drawn is blue. So just left the blue ball. So uh, left in blue ball we get only 3 plus to 5. So probability of 1, a uh, 1 non blue ball is what? 5 by 7. Now next time again we want one non blue ball. So now we have only 4 non blue ball. So this is 4. And total ball is also one left that is we have only six so this is multiply sometimes we go for multiply some for one we go for multiply when your work is not complete because five by seven we have taken only one ball. we have to find two balls so our work will be complete when we will take all the two balls so one ball here and one ball here so this will be multiply so our correct answer is 20 now the question number 3. Question number 3 is what? In a bag there are 8 red, 7 yellow and 6 green balls. If one ball is picked up random, what is the probability that is neither red nor green? This is a very important question. Question is what? In a bag 8 red, 7 yellow and 6 green balls is given. If one ball is picked randomly, what is the probability that is neither red nor given? So probability of this event will be what? You know well that is favorable outcome by total outcome. Favorable outcome is what? What we need, what is asked in the question divided by total outcome. So you know well in a bag total number is what? 8 plus 7, 15 plus 6, 21. So total outcome is 21, it is given, right? Now we have to find probability that is neither red nor green. So we want a favorable is what? Neither red nor green. So just left the red and left the green. So we have only 7 yet. So probability of neither red nor green will be what? That is 7 upon 21. So this is 7 by 21, 7 theta 21. So our correct answer is what? 1 by 3. So any question of this type, first we have to know ki what is given, how many total outcome. So here total outcome is what? There is 8 red, 7 yellow and 6. So 8 plus 7, 15 plus 6, 21 more that is total outcome. Okay. Now we have to find favorable what is asked. Asked in the question neither red nor green. So left the red and left the green. So we have only 7. This is our favorable outcome what we need. So 7 by 21 is 1 by 3 other characters. Now see question number 4. What is the probability of getting a sum? Getting a sum of 5 from 2 throws of a dice. 
you know well a when two dice are thrown then there is a total 26 sample space so now we have to find same thing that is probability of any event is what favorable outcome by total so first we have to know that the total is what we know well if there is a dice two dice when we throw the two dice then we have total 36 outcomes okay because 1 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 5 in the same 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 just like we have told earlier so now we have to find probability of whose sum is 5 so you check how many outcome are there whose sum is 5 so suppose 1 dice have 1 and other 4 so 1 and 4 5 in the same way 1 have 2 then other dice have 3 2 and 3 5 in the same way again here suppose there is a 3 then 3 2 and again suppose there is a 4 then what is that is the 4 1 so answer is what through you getting a sum of 5 again you see that is 1 plus 4 5 2 plus 3 5 and 3 plus 2 5 and 4 plus 1 5 only this outcome are favorable because 1 2 3 not favorable in the same way 1 3 4 so only there is a total there is a 36 outcome what we have told you earlier just like this there is a 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 in the same way there is a 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 in the same way there is a 3 1 and in the same way there is a 4 1 and this is again 5 1 and this is there is a 6 1 this so every pair have 6 so 6 is a 36 total outcome is what 36 in this 36 we have 1 2 3 4 fabric so our answer is what 4 by 36 so 4 9 36 our correct answer will be 1 by 9 so the question is what what is the probability of a getting a sum of 5 when two dice are thrown at a time when you will throw the two dice you will get total outcome what that is 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 6 in the same way 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 4 3 5 3. in the total is 36 now what is favorite how many outcomes sum is 5 so here 1 4 1 plus 4 5 2 3 that is 2 plus 3 5 3 2 3 plus 2 5 and 4 1 4 plus 1 5 so our favorable outcome is only 4 so 4 by 36 1 by 9 is our right answer now we see question number 5 a man throws two dice simultaneously on the floor what is the probability of getting two numbers whose a probability whose product is even whose product is even. Question what? A man, a man throw two dice simultaneously on the floor. What is the probability of getting two numbers? Who's getting two numbers whose product is even? So you know in the same way here that is probability of any event is so what? Favorable outcome by total. So you know total outcome is what? 36 because there is also a two dice. The man throw two dice. So total outcome will be 36. Now the question is what? Whose product is even? So now you can check how many outcome have product even. So you know that is 1 into 2. 2. So you can see here how many. Just like if we go for 1, 2. So this is 1 into 2, 2. Again you see that is 1, 3 not possible, 1, 4 is possible. In the same way, 1, 5 not possible, 1 into 6 is 6. In the same way, if you go for just like 2, so 2, 1, and in the same way, 2, 2, that is 2, 3, 
that is 2, 4 and 2, 6. All our product is what? Even. 2, 1, zero, 2, 2, 2, zero, 4, 2, 3, zero, 6, 2, 4, 2, 6. Zero. In the same way, we go for 3. Then only 3, 2 and then 3, 4 and then 3, 6. Again, if we go for 4, we will get 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4 and there is a uh, 4, 5 and 4, 6. In the same way there is a 5. So this is only 5, 2 and this is 5, 4 and this is 5, 6. In the same there is a 6. So this is 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5 and 6. So what is the technique? Taking that not write anything. Only you feel that when we are going for one, then there is a one and two even is even. So only one to six will be three. Even. So there will be only three. So here three outcome will be in the case of one. When you go for two, then every product will be even. So in the case of two, there will be total six. When you go for three. There is an odd number, so you will get only three pair here. In the same way, the four is even. So when you multiply four to all number, you will get even. So here again, there is a six. Again, for five, this is an odd number, you will get only three pair. Here six is even, you will get six pair. So you can go for not need to write in this thing, only in mind you can calculate. So 6 plus 3, 9, 3, 12, 26, 18, 18 and 3, 21 and 6, 27. So our correct answer is what? 27 by 36. If you will cancel this, 9, 3, 27, 9, 4, 36. So 3 by 4 is our correct answer. So in this type of question, question order, when we throw the two dice simultaneously, then what is the probability of getting two numbers whose product is even? So just check in mind. If we go for one, there is a one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six possibility. Only one multiply even it will give product even. So one into two and one into four. So one there is only three. Two is even number. You multiply any number with even, you will get product even. So in the two case, there is a six. Again, 3 is odd, so you will get 3, 4 is even, you will get 6, 5 is odd, you will get 3, 6 is even, you will get 6. So you can add this, you will get 27, so your correct answer is 3, 4. So just to watch it, all the 5 questions, 1, 2, 5, and uh, you will understand everything in a better way. If you have any confusion, you can go for comment also. Thank you.